friends welcome to the manual of colonoscopy now for the next 20 minutes i'll be taking you a virtual tour on this chapter you are about to read there is top 10 advances in colonoscopy first important thing i would recommend all of you is to go for the high definition colonoscopy the reason is very simple because whether it is in volumpus pentax fuginon there are various makes are available like CV 170, 190 and if you go to Japan even 290 are available because the difference you see from a standard definition, high definition you can see the color so pristine, sharper image, richer color that you will enjoy it is like driving a Mercedes you will enjoy it and here is a view what you get from a standard colonoscopy high definition colonoscopy. So, you should have a high definition colonoscopy and high definition monitor that is my recommendation. And even I go one step further that is you should have the important additional gadget that is a magnification quality and image enhancement technology. Because one of the main reason colonoscopy done nowadays is fine lesions as small as 1 or 2 millimeter sessile polyp for that you need these two qualities because image enhancement in various company things like in Olympus they use this technology as you already know in the narrow band imaging, eye scan in Pentax, PICE technology in Fuginon and the magnification helps to bring zoom like what is a small lesion into so big you are able to see the surface so nicely and you are able to make what we call in situ diagnosis or optical diagnosis. So, coming to the uh, little about this a uh, narrow band imaging which is nothing but having at least two filters a green and blue filters. So, you are able to get very good view of the blood vessels surface blood vessels and also the mucosal details are nicely seen. So, what is a very subtle lesion in a white light it will be very nicely seen. Days are gone where we need to spray some on the surface like indigo carmine or some other contrast to bring it more into the prominence what we call a chromo endoscopy. Now, there is no spraying is required as soon as you switch on another button electronically you are able to get this beautiful image not only a crystal clear demarcated lesion, but also all the characteristics are seen if you get even a close up magnified view like what is imperceptible is easily seen here. So, early lesion, uh, subtle lesions you are able to see it clearly, accurate diagnosis is possible and even if there is a large lesion, one part of the lesion may be more malignant than the other one and you are able to target exactly where you, where you want to take a biopsy. So, these are all the obvious advantages of image enhancement. Pentax has what we call high or intelligent scan where it has a xenon light, but it processes the image after it collecting the all the information and it has three different modes as you can see eye scan 1, 2 and 3 and depending upon the lesion is not only detected character site and also the demarcated nicely. So, those things you need to uh, read very well especially if you are going to buy that particular make. Same thing Fuginon here instead of xenon light nowadays they use the blue laser light. So, BLI mode bright mode light modes are there and it will give you a beautiful images as you can see here nicely the eye scan, phi scan from Pentax and Fuginon the view is excellent and I am sure you will be more accurate in making a tissue diagnosis. Magnification simple electronic magnification is one thing here because of the movable optic lens you are able to get a magnification normal magnification for a standardly scopes will have about 30 to 35 times, but here it is up to 150 times this is now the magnification is so well now endocytoscopy is available where the magnification goes into 500 times or even bigger. And this one probably you might have already read in our earlier lectures like a variable stiffness colonoscopy if it is there it is of great advantage because especially when you are going to traverse the sigmoid colon the loop then you will be able to go without much problem 
because as you can see here when you are navigating once you are going into a very treacherous how to avoid a loop formation is by stiffening the colonoscopy how you are able to do. So, for that only you make the colonoscopy which is soft into a stiff scope or a Viagra scope that is by just turning the knob just below your control head clockwise like here what the insert source clockwise you turn it. So, that will become stiffer. So, the navigation further into the colon into the transverse colon and beyond is very easy. So, this is the way to recognize and reduce the loop formation is another in thing now I wanted to tell you is this one steps of colonoscopy I have discussed about the various loops how to recognize the loops clinically, but can you see it radiologically yes if you have a C arm, but the best way to understand whether the patient is forming gen loop, alpha loop or a gamma loop is having something like scope guide in Olympus 190 series if you are able to get it a little expensive then it will make the navigation very easy because you know it is something like your position you are able to it is like a GPS it is able to tell you. So, all in addition to your colonoscopy it has an additional box here and also additional hand control and side control like this. So, it works on the principle of magnetic imaging the signal from throughout the colonoscopy is received by this receiver and also by a small pressure handle you are wearing the colonoscopies. So, both his hand position and also the position of the colonoscopy is seen in the monitor in a small PAP nicely seen. So, exactly you will be able to understand for example, here you are able to see not only the scope view, but also you will be able to see the additional thing see for example, like this it will tell you the loop is about to form n loop how it is reduced by pull back suction and also when you form like for example, put a pressure you can reduce it and if you form an alpha loop how to reduce everything as it forms you will see and as you reduce you will understand that you have completely reduced you are now ready to proceed into go going into the descending colon and splenic flexure see still the alpha loop is, in, is still there. So, you need to a little bit more pull and then clockwise torquing. So, clockwise torquing is what we covered to in order to prevent this alpha loop getting any worse. So, this is a, it is a time consuming, but you have to go see I have gone up to the splenic flexure then I have reduced the loop now it is straight now it is ideal. So, all these things are now possible thanks to this scope guide. Good bowel preparation I told you 50 percent of the success and the key to success but how to get there one of the secret is to go for nowadays is a split dosing rather than giving the 2 liters same time give half the dose 1 liter of the preparation 1 liter of the prepared solution 2 liter the previous night the next another liter in the morning if you do that not only the right colon, but left colon all the colon will be clean and that has been proved in very many studies. CO2 encephalation is what we normally nowadays use. The other thing you consider is a water colonoscopy like I told you already in any acute bend becomes less acute and it will be a less painful especially when you just put plenty. So, irrigation pump is essential to do this water colonoscopy it is like swimming under water nice view you can do even the therapeutic procedure under water also this is under water colonoscopy nicely done with the practice this one cap colonoscopy or the things increasingly nowadays used. Full spectrum colonoscopy is a thing it is already in market, but still I think it is yet to find its place in our country. What is full spectrum because normally the range of view at the best is going to be around 170 degree for you ok like this one because we are having what we call n viewing colonoscopy, but here in the full spectrum colonoscopy you have in addition to the end lenses here you have also light and lenses on the side also. So, instead of one monitor you are going to be given a three monitors. So, you have a panoramic view as you can see enjoy normally this is the view you normally have about 170 degree, but here in this particular case of colonoscopy you see a panoramic view what is on the left side right side almost it is 330 degrees near 
circumference you will be able to see on your this side this side in front so you will not miss any polyp you know which direction to take all the bends are nicely seen so the view normally we have is only this much here even on your back what's happening on the back will be able to understand so this is the beauty and endocuff is another small gadget less pricey one if you apply it at the end as you pull the scope it will open all the hostile ports like what is this pictorial diagram depicts so you will not miss any polyps so this is another increasingly used technique and the third eye retroscope is nothing like mother and baby colonoscopy inside the access channel you pass a small one a scope with a retroflexion you are able to see behind the hostile folds or the ileocecal fold thing like that so that is the way you diagnose even the early so these are all the people who are so meticulous not to miss any lesion the adenoma detection rate is increased by applying all this technology nowadays and next is if you don't have a satisfactory colonoscopy those cases you can send them for what we call a virtual colonoscopy like for example if there is a family of 10 people they are afraid to undergo colonoscopy you want to screen them yes you can do what we call a virtual colonoscopy it is nothing but a glorified ct with a fly through software so you will be able to see and if there is any lesion there like a polyp then you can always convince them later for a therapeutic so it's a purely diagnostic but at least it will avoid patient going for a painful colonoscopy with a theoretical risk of operation. Colonic capsule, we have seen a capsule endoscopy, now capsule colonoscopy is a reality now. Unlike a gastroscope or a gastric capsule, this capsule has a lens on either side and this is actually a little discovery after seeing this scientific fiction movie fantastic voyage in 1960s by Paul Swain in UK. So, he thought miniaturization is the way to see the future. So, what was a big endoscopy is now made like a capsule. Thanks to the satellite technology from Israel, you are able to transmit the all the information from the capsule you swallow to a little transmitter you ha have it outside from there into the monitor and you see all the films nicely seen and wherever there is a bleeding. So, the small bowel pathology is nowadays seen and also the right colonic lesions are nowadays seen. Okay. So, colonic capsule is the way and we use and a vector capsule there are now therapeutic capsule people are so innovative the capsule can walk it has its own movement it has theoretical application and therapeutic indications. So, there is a lot of innovations are going to happen in capsule also. So, there are other ways to also improve or fast track your interpretation of skill. For example, if you see a lesion, how much of pathology you need to know, whether can you teach the computer to make a diagnosis, that is the next thing is happening. And I, as I said, we train ourselves for hours together, but one of the important thing I would say is this virtual simulator what we call the GA mentor is available in various institutions in our country. And other thing I am really fascinated, I am sure uh, you will be having in another 5, 10 years here in our country is endo brain. There in endocytoscopy, if you just show the colonoscopy to a lesion, it is not only diagnosed, it will tell you the accuracy like it will tell this is normal, non neoplastic this is neoplastic 90 percent certainty like that it will make a diagnosis. It is possible only by feeding the information from thousands of such cases. So, it has so much of information already and it is like a deep learning and it is continuing to learn. So, this is the way things are evolving and this is the way the future is going to go. And I think you are not able to navigate your big wheel, small wheel torque then time is not too far a robotic colonoscopy is going to come because a robotic colonoscopy it will be able to drive it is like a driving. So, uh, it will take most of your control by itself. So, it is able to turn right left whichever way by a joystick it is just like a playing. I am sure our children they are going to drive this colonoscopy or the colonoscopy might drive itself all the way right up to the cecum to have a cecum intubation not 95 percent 100 percent sure thanks to this technology balloon and innovation. So, these are all not something like a fiction they are going to be fact part of our life 
sooner or later. So, ladies and gentlemen, all these 10 advances are not something happening tomorrow, it is already in here. It is for us to understand and try to take them as much as possible in your practice for benefit of our own patients. Okay, thank you. And I will recommend once again read this book, it is one of the nice book I have read and that will give you a, a good idea about all the chapters we are discussing in, in a miniature format in our manual of colonoscopy. Thank you, have a nice day.